Welcome back to the Jump Zone. And today we're going to figure out what's it going to be like if you get to those pearly gates and you're harboring racism. Okay, well, I'm going to show you what it's going to be like. Okay, so let's say you're black or a person of color, right? No, specifically black. And you pass on and uh, because you've done some good deeds and things like that as a black person looking out for your own people. And when you can, you look out for other communities. You did your best to tell everybody about the word and everything. But for some particular reason, you're still harboring racism toward white people or a feeling of prejudice, let's just say, because, you know, politically, uh, you technically can't be a racist if you don't uh, if you're not a part of a power structure uh, that is oppressing someone. But whatever. You uh, come before Christ. You still have prejudice. Christ is looking at you. Christ is not a black man. He's not even Middle Eastern. He has long, flowing, uh, blonde locks, and he has piercing blue eyes, and he's looking at you with those piercing blue eyes. And you're like, oh, man, hold on. I, I, this, must, this must be a dream or something like that. And Christ is like, no, this is not a dream. You've arrived to the gates of the kingdom of heaven, and I am who I want to be, or I am who I want to become. And you've got literally like three seconds to get on your knees because he's going to be like, and you're still standing before your Lord and Savior. And then if you, Lord, if you don't do that, you know what I'm saying? He, okay, I, it seems that you, you have the ways of the world uh, within you. And so now you will depart from me because I do not know you. You can go like that and your body going to start moving. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Please, Lord. You know, and then you're going to shrink back into darkness and feel travail, or, you know, start to come over you and everything. Man, I do not want y'all to feel that, dog. I don't want y'all to go through that. I really don't. So I'm saying that whatever form that Christ takes, he can take whatever form he wants, just like the father before him. He has inherited the title, inherited the power of I am what I want to become, you know, and I think what can happen is, if we're not careful, as black people, you can be tested on the racism. Like I'm saying, even if you've done, you've repented, you've done a lot of good uh, deeds, you've done your best, prayer, all of that, if you still, just, in the back of your mind, harbor some kind of racism, I think Christ is going to test you on that before you go to the gates. I really do. I'm not trying to scare you off, just doing my best to get the word out, to just expand on these things. The Bible doesn't tell us every single thing, but you have to be prepared because you never really know what happens. All right. So, yeah, I'll take it easy and God bless.